Hi guys, welcome back. Been a while since I've done one of these videos for sure. Today it is Monday the 25th of April and I went back to work today and you can probably tell I'm losing my voice because my job involves me speaking a lot and I've not been doing a lot of speaking or anything this last month so today it was hard work it was emotional hard work and also physical hard work but I got through the shift and I'm glad I did so I've just finished work I've come out just gone into the range I was actually checking out for steam irons because I need a new iron but I ended up just buying some candles and I thought I'd do a quick video for you guys off the new ambulance hub that's being built on Waterloo Road this is a view from the back obviously so we're going to walk all the way around and I'm going to show you as much as I can so yeah let's go just had to stop the video then because I actually coughed and I didn't want coughing and spluttering in the video I was actually told I could probably get signed off work for another couple of weeks or even another month or so but to be honest guys I don't think that's going to help when you lose a loved one you never get over it especially when that loved one is your child and even though he was an adult yeah he was still my child So, I just said, I've got to just keep on trucking one day at a time and I've got to carry on and go back to work. I can't never ever go back to work again. And that being said, I want to try and make a few videos for you folks a little bit more regularly. They're not going to be daily for a while yet, but I am going to try and do more often. So anyway, we're outside at the back of the Waterloo Road Ambulance station you can see that all the steel works up I literally filmed none of that going up I did walk past once a couple of weeks ago and I saw them putting it up but I just did not and I really tried I really wanted to do a little video but I really just did not have the will or the energy or I just couldn't do it but we're here today and I'm trying to move forwards So that's the view from the back, so let's see the view from this side. We just swing over, looking towards the west. There, look how nice the sky looks. It's not quite sunset yet, it's not going to be sunset for a while yet, but when I zoom in, it looks beautiful. It's actually a lovely evening. When I come over here, right in the distance, you can see the tower. But as we all know by now, my ancient cheap little camera does have fairly good zoom. That's assuming I can hold it steady. It's not the camera, folks. <laughs> it's not the camera, it's a camera operator. That's a bit rubbish. But as we can see, That is a fairly good zoom in off the tower. Let's zoom out again now because that's wobbling all over the place. The trouble is you only need to move the camera like a couple of millimetres when you're zooming in that far and it looks like you're shaking it all over the place. I know folks don't like shaky camera. I've been called out for that before. Let's try and keep things straight. So let's look from the side. I'm going to put the camera through the hole. Going to get my hand through. Yes, I can. That's a good view from there. Let's come right out again. That little cup there. I do have a small camera and small hands. And we can walk right along the side. And I'm going to walk along the front as well and the other side. So you guys will have seen it from everywhere. Oh look, that is the artist's impression of how it's going to look when it's done. Due to be completed December 
2022 Blackpool Ambulance Hub New Ambulance Hub facility due to be completed December 2022 So there we go And they are considerate constructors I think they all have to be when you're in a residential area For sure Walk around the back, stop for a second and just port the camera through there. If you guys pause just to look through and see how things are going. Full steel works up. But seeing as it's not due to open till December, it's quite a lot more work to do. We've got a whole heap of breeze blocks or cinder blocks, whatever you call them, tons of wood, some ginormous plasticky tubey things lots more plasticky tubey things but these aren't ginormous like the other ones they're just big although they are longer come up there that's a good view going to be protecting the perimeter while people are working on things I have no idea I've watched so many things being built but I still have like zero building knowledge I know the basics like they put the steel works up first and stuff like that okay, let's go around front now we're actually on Waterloo Road now. Come out from the range, round the corner, and now actually on Waterloo Road. You can get a good view there, that's the still works from the front. Let's walk down a little bit further. straight on at the front. I can come out for a bit and show you the whole building but then the fence is in the way and if we're going through the fence so you can get a neater view and we don't quite get the whole building in unless I move. Oh, let's just keep walking. All the machines are at the front. Outlet, whatever that means. GRP separator system for light liquids. I have no idea what that means. You can see from the side there, it's a nice view from the side. Got loads of I was going to say pallets. I don't know if these actually are pallets. I don't know what they're called. Are they pallets or are they, is it cladding? I think it's actually cladding. Yes, that's what I think. I'm sure there'll be somebody in the comments to either confirm it or correct me. Big pile of soil there. And the rubble behind it. big pile of bits of pavement here like that and just from there not the best view but it's still a view nonetheless and go down all the way I'm going to go around that last little corner and just show you through there so we've literally seen every single side
we can go as far as the alley gate but we can't go through there because that's just for residents only but we can walk down to here and we can look at the side from that angle and zoom in that's a good shot and then that is it that is a gigantic vac slash x dot co dot uk well that's the website i'm not actually sure what that gigantic wagony thing is but it's for hire anyway guys hope you enjoyed that my first full video in a while showing you an actual update so thank you for watching thank you for sticking with the channel and hopefully it won't be long until i make the next one and i will see you soon goodbye